followers of QAnon have a message for the Flat Earthers. Get your insane conspiracy theories out of our movement. Hmm, well, that's interesting. I mean, you have adherents of QAnon who believe in a satanic pedophile cult that has infiltrated Hollywood and the Democratic Party specifically, uh, and that Trump was elected to put them in jail, which did not happen, and that somehow now JFK Jr. will rise from the dead and run a presidential campaign in 2024 with Donald Trump. You have that group that believes that the people who think that the earth is flat are too crazy for them. Wow. Fascinating. So now where do I get this? Well, this comes from Kelly Wilde and her new book. And so what she did is that she embedded herself with the uh, flat, Earth, uh, flat Earther group, right? And so now she's going to talk about uh, this, uh, her experience on the podcast Fever Dream, right? So she's going to go into what they actually have in common. And so I'm going to have you listen to a part of that. And then uh, I'm going to give my opinion. Take a look. One thing that I learned in the reporting of this book is that a lot of flat earthers come to the movement and stay in the movement because as they become more and more engaged, they push people away in their real lives. People say, flat earth, that's kind of weird. Let's talk about football or something like that. And you, sometimes this people talk about they're being persecuted for their beliefs, but I came across some anecdotes in the writing of this book that showed just how strange people can act in the thrall of these theories. All right. So uh, look, that's something that they, they do have in common. These two conspiracies, it envelops their entire life. They get sucked into it. They push people away. Uh, and you know, it, it causes all these divisions within their families. And again, we've seen this in QAnon, and apparently she sees it in Flat Earth. So now, I also want to read this uh, segment from it. She said, I thought flat, flat Earth was an interesting parable about how people can believe anything. There are other conspiracy theories that are more reality adjacent, and it's easy to walk through the path of how somebody got to the conclusion based on their own political beliefs. But said, uh, Flat Earth seems so out there that I wanted to understand it better. Those in modern conspiracy, uh, political conspiracies are a lot like the Flat Earth Movement in that there are people who feel at odds with the reality that they live in and they want to be able to blame a person or group for persecuting them. So in a lot of ways, Flat Earth is almost interchangeable with a lot of conspiracy theories that we deal with every day at work. So all of that here uh, is excellent realization that these conspiracy theories, and I talked about conspiracy theories all the time on the show, um, they really appeal to people who don't like reality. I mean, that's really what they all have in common. They despise the reality. Now, of course, that's why somebody would rather choose to believe in a fictional world where it is Satan that is keeping your wages low somehow, and not the politicians you continue to elect that serve big business. Weird. Uh, now, she went on to explain that there's a, a, a lot of overlap within the conspiracy world. You heard some of that. Uh, and that it's even actually increased over the years. She cited the Facebook post that she saw saying, quote, Globers equal Antifa. Somehow, somehow Antifa, yes, Antifa became synonymous with believing that the world is round to them. Wait, wait, I, I mean, yes, I guess they're correct. I mean, all the, and by the way, Antifa is not an organization. It, it's basically just an ideology. It's a, a, a philosophy. You're anti-fascist, right? I would, I would wager that the majority of people who believe that, yes, we are anti-fascist, we do not like fascism, also do not think that the world is flat weird. Uh, but anyway, okay. <laughs> so now uh, she went on to uh, note that even though there's overlap, the QAnons overall are dismissing the flat earthers. Uh, I've got another little snippet here of that interview. Take a look. I was at a convention in 2019 and there were two women going around handing out QAnon jewelry. And I'm like, 
yo, are, are you flat earthers? And they're like, not really, but we just want to spread the word about QAnon. And we thought this would be a receptive community. That said, you asked about flat earthers putting people off. And yeah, that happens too. And like Q himself has done a Q&A, Q&A, where somebody asked him, they said, just to shut the flat earthers up, is earth round? And Q says, yeah, of course it's round. We're not like those conspiracy nutters. But again, there was dissent in the comments. Mm, let him fight. I mean, look, we're, you know, we, we're not like those conspiracy nutters. I mean, those guys are crazy. <laughs> I mean, we, we're queuing on, but those flat earther people, you better watch out for them. Now, the most interesting thing here that you learn about conspiracy theories is that, look, the people who believe them are essentially the same kind of people. They're the ones who think they got it all figured out. That, no, 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 we know all the answers. Of course. Uh, and... Really, we know all the answers, and it is you that are the crazy ones. You are the sheep. We're the only ones that are smart enough to figure out what's actually going on. You, you see, yeah, we, we, got it, we got it all figured out. And, and by the way, um, Flat Earth, I mean, the real thing, and, and obviously the other thing that they have in common is it always comes down to weirdo anti-Semitism. It's so strange. Uh, but basically, what it boils down to is, well, obviously, this very outlandish thing is true, and it's proof that the government lies to you. And if they lied to you about the shape of the Earth, well, then what else would they lie to you about? Everything, right? Now, in reality, of course, most people figured out already, and it's not hard to figure that out, that the government does lie to us. Yeah, of course, they lie about things all the time. Uh, it doesn't have to be elaborate conspiracies, um, we know, of course, uh, for example, thanks to Edward Stone, that the government has been taking in and basically sucking up all of our metadata on the Internet. And, and in the phone calls as well. They've listened into, for example, um, our troops over in Iraq having phone sex, weirdly enough. Uh, but not weirdly enough, because it's kind of human nature. And so, yes, the government has lied about that. They do spy in on American citizens. I know, there's, it's all about fighting terror, right? Sure. How many terrorist attacks have that stopped? Mm, not many, uh, if at all. But again, it doesn't have to be a conspiracy theory, because we know it's true. And, it, and, and, and of course, when you look at the reasons, usually it's, of course, trying to hide and protect their image, Hide embarrassing things that they may have done, uh, or, you know, engage in personal corruption. A a very, very simple things. And it doesn't have to involve flat earths or, or aliens or anything like that. And so it's not hard. You don't need to completely look outside of the bounds of reality and say, oh, it's the Satanists that have come in. Uh, it is the devils and the demons, uh, you know, or, or like, you don't even have to go that far. Uh, and, 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 you know, because some of the conspiracy theories that I've talked about here are floated by Mike Lindell, it's the, the Chinese, the Iranians, the, the Pomeranians, they're all coming together uh, with the Italians and, and they're hacking the election somehow. No, you don't have to believe that. Because there's some proof of that, it's insane. Insane. I mean, when you even look at some of the details, when you even, when you think about it for just a minute, you're like, yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense. But see, here's the thing. When you're in one of these con uh, conspiracy mindsets, right, you end up pushing out all facts, logic, and reason. And you know what happens when you do that? You become a cultist. And that's unhealthy. That's dangerous. I've read a lot of stories about people you know, losing family members to groups like QAnon and either, you know, you know, them getting uh, cut off by their family or them cutting their family off because they become obsessed. The conspiracy becomes their personality and sometimes even leads to deadly results. Again, we've had uh, uh, groups like Marshall Applewhite's Heaven's Gate that, you know, if you if you're familiar what happened, you know, that was a, that was a mass suicide that happened in this cult because they thought, oh, the aliens are gonna come by. And, it's, and so if we do this, if we drink the Kool-Aid or whatever, um, so many weird things about that cult, uh, you know, the, then the aliens are gonna suck us up and then we're gonna go off to a better planet. It's so weird. There's some really weird stuff here. 
very strange conspiracy theories. Um, and, and again, some of them quite, quite deadly. They, their lives get absolutely devoured and they're driven deeper and deeper into it. And I really do think that now, I mean, we've always had conspiracy theories. They've always existed and they've always proliferated. In fact, I believe it was Heaven's Gate was like uh, 1990s, right? But I think the internet has actually made things worse. The internet and of course, uh, social media and conservative media has really amplified the spread of some of this insanity. And, you know, a lot of the, the newer conspiracy theories that we're seeing that we talk about come from the fever swamps of the internet, uh, the forums, the 4chans, the 8chans, the 1632 chans, the, you know, uh, they come from those different places. They, they come from, uh, you know, uh, the so-called intellectual dark web. They go and get filtered through places like Infowars, Alex Jones, Gateway Pundit, and then, of course, get amplified by Fox News, sometimes Newsmax, OAN. And so you look at that, and, and that's really the same process for a similar type of pathology. So when you look at this, overall, it's both sad and also kind of funny when the different conspiracy fandoms fight each other. Because at the end of the day, everybody else knows that you're both nuts. <laughs>